All right, welcome back to Friday. It's Friday. At least when this video goes up, it'll be Friday. Um, Seth's busy. It is currently Thursday. It is. It's super Thursday. I am recording this a day early so I can ensure it goes up because I'm tired of kind of not getting this done when I'm supposed to. Um, usual, usual co-host, busy. She is at a convention. So we have Ooh. two new co-hosts, one there and one here. We've got Jack and Azel that, that I'm sure some of you recognize from the ghost videos. If you don't watch the ghost videos, why? Why? You break my heart when you don't do that. Say hi. Ghosts are made up. The ghosts do be ghostly, though. Say hi, guys. The government doesn't know Hello. that. See, I got new new co-hosts. So they're going to fill in this week, and it's going to be great. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be fantastic. And you know why? Absolutely nothing will go wrong. It's already gone wrong. We already had to restart this because OBS kind of took a shit in itself. So anyway, we're here today because last week I kind of, you know, jumped the gun and was like, oh, and come back next week when we do this one. And and we kind of had to talk ourselves into a corner. So now we're doing Diablos. Who wants to talk about Diablos? Hey, they do. I, I don't know why I pointed up when I when Jack's down here. But I, I they they want to they want to talk about Diablos, don't you guys? Diablos I mean, is probably. Delicious. Hey, don't eat it. You don't know where it's been. In the desert, most. Okay, well you do know where it's been. It's been under the sand. So here's what we're going to talk about today. Diablos. What in the actual hell? Is Diablos there for, if not a wall? I think Diablos' main main kind of thing is to be a wall. We've talked about walls before with, like, Anjaneth on this channel. Um, you know, the, the one of your hurdles to get through. And I think Diablos... It, Diablos, is, especially in World, is used as, like, a, um, a wall to get through into high rank kind of area. Because you have to yeah. fight him and Rathalos in the world in order to get to that point in the game. Um... A lot more so, Diablos, than you used to be used to. It was just one of the monsters that was kind of there. Um, he he wasn't really... I mean, he was key quest, obviously, but he wasn't like one of the, the walls, per se. Um, at least not until you get a little bit further in. Um, low rank Diablos isn't really that difficult, at least. But that's just me talking from experience. I've played it a lot. so. But when I did first fight him, he was he was pretty tricky. Um, but we've got two, two fresh eyes... Four, I guess, technically. I don't know. But two people fresh from the world. You guys have experience with Diablos. So, Jack, tell us what your experience with Diablos was. Honestly, he can be pretty annoying because of all the digging. It really teaches you to just not greed in. Because it can be tempting with some monsters, you know, to run in, attack them while they're doing something. Kind of like you're trying to play Dark Souls. Diablos tells you not to do that. Wait until he's done berserking. Exactly. He, he, it's a teaching moment. You need to kind of not be so hyper-aggressive. You need to take your time, plan your attacks and whatnot. Especially in the old gen, because uh, there were times in, a, in areas where he would do a horn charge, and you could, in fact, get him stuck in a wall. And that gave you ample time to either break horns or cut tails or whatever you had to do. Uh, and just a heads up before we continue, we will not be covering Black Diablos in this video because Black Diablos is not a subspecies. Black Diablos is a result of hormones in the females from either being in heat or being pregnant. It's one of the two. I can't remember exactly which. Um, and we won't cover Black Either way, very because, scary. Yes, very Hell scary. Hell has no fury like a woman spurned. And that's why they have a turf war <laughs> in World. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, we will cover Bloodbath in a separate video because that is a, a unique species. Uh, unique individual. Uh, so, Azel, give us your impressions of the Diablos. Honestly, I've, I've only really played World with Jack, and it's been a while, but uh, I just remember it as the obnoxious one with huge horns that digs. Diablos in a nutshell. Yeah, it sounds about right. It, that that's just that sounds about right. <laughs> As him in a nutshell. That's it. <laughs> uh, I I will say he digs a lot more than he used to. Back in older games, it was more of the horn charge spam, much akin to what you see with Rathian. Uh, but yeah, nowadays, especially in Black Diablos, it is constant, constant, constant digging, 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 digging up, digging up, digging up, up, digging up, and that's all you really get out of Diablos anymore, uh, which is sad, but. Diablos has come a long way in terms of gear. 
I, I, I can say that at least. Um, True. Like, ooh, bulldozer slugger. Fucking, ooh, baby. <sniffs> Chef's kiss on that shit. Diablo's weapons? Oh. Anyway. Um, so... <sighs> So yeah, I would say in terms of what he's supposed to do, he's supposed to be a wall. He's supposed to be a, a kind of a teaching moment of you know, hey, you need to kind of be patient with what you're doing. He teaches you you need to use like the the sonic bombs. It really it helps you as a hunter. You need to use all the tools of your disposal: flash bombs, sonic bombs, barrel bombs, even. Uh, I think I think Diablo just does a pretty good job of that. Um, I wouldn't say he's the best because there are other monsters that do those things as well. Uh, namely Monoblus, which came before, um, you know, the, the, I don't think you can Sonic, can, yeah, I think, you, can you Sonic Bomb the Hermitors? Sonic, uh, Damio? I don't remember. The really, who? Oh, yeah, you guys have only, yeah, Damio's not in World. Damio and Shogun, uh, didn't come into World, that's right. Um, basically, mm -hmm. so Damio Hermitor is a big hermit crab, uses Monoblus skull as a shell, and then Shogun oh. Senator is another one that uses a Gravios skull, um. But they came into Rise, though. They are back in Rise. They just didn't make it into the world. Um, but, yeah. I, I have Rise, but I can't really get into it. Yeah, there's a big divide in the fandom between the two. And, honestly, Rise, while it's not a bad game, I'm on World's side more. World is just more fun. It, it Trust me, it's got big issues. Big issues. But it is more challenging, more fun than Rise. Rise is like you threw training wheels onto your kids training wheels <laughs> your game really does hold your hand a lot um i just find lack of environmental stuff lacking yeah. like back to diablos if he digs in a certain area in the desert he will fall through to his den which gives you an opportunity to attack him kind of like the rifleless landslide mm -hmm. but if you follow him to his bedroom <laughs> Then he starts charging through the walls, and at yeah. that point, you just give up. And, that, and that's an interesting environmental interaction. I like that. Not to mention the um, in Rise, there is a mechanic called Wyvern Riding, where if you do enough damage to a monster with the Wirebug uh, attacks that they introduced, you can ride the monsters and have them and make them go places and attack other creatures. And basically, if Rajang is in the area, you've already won. You just go up to Rajang. Hit him one time with a specific wire bug move from a hammer, and he's already ready to ride. You take him, and you can spam Final Flash like eight times and just beat the living dog shit out of whatever you're fighting. So it, it's kind of easier in Rise, um, especially with the infinite switch axe combo, where you can just do zero sum discharge for free over and over and over and over again. But we're not going to get into that. We're getting off topic. Um, <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little broken. <laughs> it's very, it's very broken. Uh,. Also, I mostly remember Diablos because, see, when I play uh, World with my sister, I like to run the heavy bow gun as a support weapon, right? Yeah. And so we keep ending up in scenarios where she's low on health, and I'm like, okay, let me get the monster's aggro so that you can heal, and then it dies. <laughs> oh, yeah, because... <laughs> Because what what happens is I like fast weapons where I don't have to, like, you know, I don't usually consciously plan, but, like, I, I learn my weapon and then I can do good on vibes. So Jack usually goes for something slower but ranged. So I'm running in and out, dodging and smacking it with, like, usually the... what What's the one weapon called where it's the two Paired swords? swords. Dual blades. Yeah. Yeah, the dual blades. I'm running in and out with the dual blades and dodging and stuff, and Jack has a heavier, slower, but long-ranged weapon. So I'm like, okay, I need to go heal or sharpen my blades or something like that. And Jack's like, okay, I'll draw aggro for you for a little bit while you go do that. And then it dies in one hit while I'm trying to run off. It's comedy gold whenever that happens. <laughs> um, Alright, so... In terms of Monster Hunter Wild, we've already covered both of the uh, current standing gameplay trailers on here. Um, we have seen desert areas, we have seen savanna areas, and honestly, I do think Diabolus is most likely going to return. He's been in every generation since his introduction. I really don't see them not bringing him back. Actually, let me double check. I can't double check. I think I closed that tab. Didn't I? Yeah, I closed that tab. But I, I, th I want to say he came. He's probably through. coming back. In, uh, He's as iconic as Rathlos, despite not getting as much attention from Capcom. Right. 
but um, I'm pretty sure he came in in third gen at one point. But I don't know. but yeah, I, I think Diablo's yeah he's he's basically become a poster boy just like Rathalos has. Um, yeah, he's he's bound to come back. I mean, them not bringing Diablo's back would be actually crazy, like legitimately fucking crazy. Uh, not even a little bit. No, it would be very crazy. So, but here's the big question. If you are to play Wilds, do you want Diablos back in, in the Wilds? Yeah. Honestly, I feel like having two weapons will make him a lot more interesting of a fight. Because as covered, he teaches you patience, right? And the projectile weapons like the bow guns are very good with patient play styles. What say you, Azel? Uh, I think he was a really interesting monster to fight, and especially, you know, the digging might be annoying, but it's a cool mechanic, and I think they would be missing out if they didn't bring him back. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We're gonna need Diablos to come back, and I guarantee you he's coming back. It's just inevitable. Diablos himself is just an inevitability. He comes back. He always comes back. Capcom's... Oh, no. A it's after. Capcom's. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Capcom's uh, intelligence may be highly variable, but they're not that stupid. Diablos is coming back. And I don't know. I don't think they're going to retire him for a long, long time. Which is sad because they did retire his predecessor already. Like, Monoblis only came back for GU. That's it. And that, that's a given. Everybody came back except for Shingeor, and I'm still pissed about that. But, um... <laughs> <sighs> it's crazy. You know, and there was a, uh... A variant. It was either... It was one of the crabs had a variant where instead of the Monoblis shell, it had a Diablo's skull as a shell. I want to say it was... But I want to say it was a non-canon version of the crab. Anyway, so from this point... Uh, it is now time. Let us let us rejoice and and seek out the. Uh, oh yeah, firstly, we've got it. We've got the Diablos. We got it right here in my hands, my fingers, my fingies. So let us turn. I can't see it. That's wonderful. Are you not looking at the camera, Jack? Do you have a camera? Have no, camera. your camera's off. My camera's on. I I can see him, Jack. You're, you're crazy. You're insane, actually. I may have lost my mind a little. Oh well. But there's our Diablos, our little boy, and he's going on the board. The baby. Show to me the board. Diablos. All right. So everybody, in case this is your first time watching, and it's the first time for these two, so we're gonna explain how this board works now. If first you open it and make sure it's right side up, because I have fucked that before. So you have yourself your tiers of S A. B, C, D, F. And as these work, you can see here, there's B and C. This, All this area, B going from here all the way across is the, is the top, the middle, and the bottom of a tier. So, that being said, you can see here, and the very bottom right corner of this board, this is the absolute worst position you can possibly be in. This is the tail end of F tier. And this little fucker right here is Plesioth. So everyone... Uh, you know, okay, you, I'm going to look that one up now just to look at it. That, Spell yeah. it. Um, P-L-E-S-I-O-T-H. If you've ever heard anybody in this community mention the infamous hip check, this is, this is that guy. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm, that's him. Fighting Zanagre. I've noticed he can just randomly... Bump me from the side. I'm assuming this guy can do this better. Jack, what the fuck did you just say? I've uh, noticed Zinagre. Did you, or maybe that, it was Barioth. Hold on, do you pronounce... It might be Barioth I'm thinking about. That is an... I've never heard that. That is a new pronunciation for me. I've never once heard that pronunciation. Anyways, I've noticed... I think it's Barioth now. I've noticed that one can just randomly do mm -hmm. a sideways attack. Yeah. Now, I'm assuming that's this, but worse. Here's the problem with Plesioth. He is huge, and he's bipedal. If he hip checks, it doesn't matter if the tail or the head or the neck or whatever. It doesn't matter if they're 30 feet above you. You got hit. And he's fucking, like, 10 player lengths long. Anyway, 
That that is actually. Oh dear. I have never. I, and I like that you said that because here on this in this little, I've had this discussion before on the in these videos, but uh, there are multiple ways to pronounce monster names. I've heard like I've heard everyone say everything every way. I like to say all of them because it's either going to make everyone happy or it's going to piss everyone off. And I love to follow <laughs> Syndrome's you know philosophy of when everyone's angry, no one is. So. <laughs> I've never heard Zenagre, though. That's interesting. I heard one different pronunciation for Brachidios once, and I refuse to say it, because when I say Brachidios, I want to vomit Scrabble tiles out of my mouth. It's awful. Ah. I don't I don't want to say it. Anyway, I hate wait, it, too. Wait, wait. Sounds... I, I got most of my monster name pronunciations from Jack. Now I'm curious, how do other people pronounce that? Which ones? And uh, the one he was talking Zinogre. about. Zenogre. It's most mostly I've I've never heard it any other way but Zenogre. Oh, that sounds so ugly. Oh, I hate that. Well, he is ugly. <laughs> he's an ogre. He looks he looks like a wolf ogre. He's a Zenogre. Anyhow, now nah, he's a handsome boy. Well, maybe in some areas of life. So here we're gonna cover this part of the board because there's nothing else over here but Plesioth where he fucking belongs. So. At the very last place, aside from him, we've got Kangalala, followed by uh, Bambaro, which, Jack, I'm sure you know Bambaro. I know Bambaro. Yeah. These guys are in the actual, I believe they are in the the, the tail end of D tier. Uh, Puke Puke is next up. Uh, and then Tetsukabra, which neither of you know, but it's a big frog. Um, I do like frog. So at the very tail end of C tier, we have Toby Kadachi. And it's um, subsequent variant, like um, Viper. Viper's there. Uh, oh, yeah, Coral Puke Puke is down here as well, as is uh, Emerald Kangalala. We didn't cover that one in that video, but, you know, go watch that video. You'll hear how Seth feels about Kangalala. It's wonderful. Um, so, Toby Kadachi and Viper Toby Kadachi are at the tail end of C. Uh, Kezu and Red Kezu are, are past it. Uh, then we have Gravios. Uh, Gravios is mid C. Black Gravios is not a sub. It's just a uh, the same kind of. Uh, it's not the same as Diablos. It's the same concept. It's it's not a different monster. It's the same monster, just unique things happened to it, but not unique enough to make it a different variant like Bloodbath. Um, and then leading C tier is Damio Hermitor. So that's where he lies. Then we go to the middle of B. Actually, this is this is the yeah this is middle B tier. We have Barith. You guys know Barith. Yeah, big, Barith is yeah. okay. Big muddy dino boy. Uh, he is he is beaten out by Basarius, the baby form of Gravios. Uh, up at the top lines of B, we have Yian Kutku, Najarala, and Kieran. Kieran is the leader of B tier currently. Jack, you know Kieran. I know Kieran. Yeah. Very fun pony. Uh, and then at the very bottom, the the last place currently standing in A tier. Granted, he's at the beginning of the third tier, which is it's good, but he's the last in this tier. At the end of A tier is Anjanath and Fulgur Anjanath. That sounds about right. Oh yeah, and blue, they're pretty good. Blue Yan Kaku there and Jade Barrett there. Uh, and then up here, I believe. No, Savage is not. Okay, so second place in A tier is Devil Joe. And we will be covering Savage differently because Savage, I believe Savage is not a sub. Um, if I remember correctly. And then in the leader of A tier is L uh, Lagiacris or Lagiacris. Or I found a new pronunciation the other day I had never heard before. Lagiacris. Said just like that. I've never heard that. So we're saying that one now too. But he, him and Ivory, Lagiacris, they are in the... The leader is of A tier. We'll cover Abyssal Agiacris in a different video. And then our top three boys, which you can't see the board is kind of there, but the top three boys I here, I assure you, they're real. I'll bring them closer so you can see. We have Zenogre and uh, Stygian Zenogre. Zenogre. Zenogre is so fucking ugly, I hate it. Zenogre sounds weird. And I won't say that. You can say it, though. I'm happy if you do. That's a you problem. How do you say Stygian Zenogre? Yeah, do you you're a you problem. Do you say Stygian Zenogre? Like, how do you say that? The, the, the variant. The subspecies. I haven't met uh, the Stygian Zenogre, but I'm pretty sure Stygian is a real word, so. So, he's in, uh, once you get to the Guiding Lands in a uh, world, you'll meet him. Then there's Brachidios. Uh, 
Uh, we will be covering Raging Bracadillos separately, for obvious reasons. And the current leader of the entire board, Nergagante. That's where our... Honestly, yeah, he's pretty good. Now, we will cover Ruiner separately uh, as well. He is a variant. Uh, so, that being said, these are our current standings. So then I must ask the two of you, out of everyone on this board, where will we be placing Diablos? I mean... Well, I... I'll go ahead. I don't think you should take my word too seriously, since I haven't played a whole lot of the game. But I think, you know, he's iconic, he's interesting, he's a teaching moment, and his dig is an interesting mechanic. But we have also said that his dig can be very annoying. So, given what we have discussed, I would say near the top, but not necessarily at the top. You know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. About maybe A tier. Uh, no, I'm going to be a bit more mean here. I don't think he deserves higher than B tier. Oh. Maybe upper C if we're being particularly cruel. Oh. Okay. He's iconic. He's got some lasting power. And he's not horrible to fight. But for, it sounds like he always has some annoying mechanic about him that is just hard to stand. The digging, the horn charge... It's not band barrel levels of bad, where he's just staggering you with every attack, but it's still very tedious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, any, Good point. any rebuttals, Azel? Not really. Okay. Again, I, I haven't played as much of these games as Jack, definitely not nearly as much as you. So I'd say, consider what I say, but, like, if you feel like ignoring it, ignore it. You know more than me about these things. Yeah, see, the problem with Diablos is that he's not a mid-monster. He's no... I don't think I actually know any mid-monsters. Uh, World did a good job of sorting out all of the weaker ones. We got some mid-ones in the board right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, the problem with Diablos is that he's not a mid-monster. If he were... Not annoying? I'd 100% agree with Azel. Mid-A tier at the lowest. But he always has some annoying mechanic attached to him, so I can't really put him above B. Not to mention back in... Oh, and I've got PTSD from my older game experiences, but the, the double roar. So, oh, yeah. that sounds like hell. Um, so he yeah, would, that's... Yeah. He concerning. Would, he'd roar, he'd do the big swinging his head roar, and then immediately go into another one, and then immediately I've, I've experienced three, and by that time I'm just like, can you shut the fuck up? I've already timed out now, thank you. Anyway. Uh, okay, well that sounds annoying, I'm downgrading him to B tier in my opinion as well. I will say he's gotten... I, 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 I'd like to say he's improved, but I don't know. But uh, everybody tune in, because I've actually, uh, I've, I'm about to hunt, hit up a, a quest in my Freedom Unite playthrough where we gotta fight him and the Black Diablos together. So, you know, back in those days, there's no Turf Wars! They're only after me! Can't wait. But I gotta finish oh, grinding... Oh, no! I gotta finish grinding Kushala so I can get an ice weapon to fight them with and make this whole thing a breeze. But, hopefully, it won't be... I've done a deathless run. I've never lost a single... I have fainted in quests before, but I've never lost the quest. I've never lost. I'm hoping I don't lose that streak against these two jackasses. So... I'm going to say Diablos. When you when he's compared to in B, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with the B tier ranking on Diablos. Given who's on here, he's no. He, I will not say he's better than Kieran any in any stretch. I'm also not gonna say he's any better than Najrala in any way, shape, or form. And Yian Kukku, I would say maybe, but Yian Kukku actually does his job 125 percent. Like he is the pinnacle bird wyvern when it comes to the flying bird wyverns. So I'm going to say Diablos can go in front of Basarius, and I'm willing to actually make Diablos the leader of tier 2 in B tier. Right there. I'm willing to place him there. He is now leader. Yeah, sounds like a good deal. Diablos is now the leader of tier 2 when it comes to the B tier rankings. So... But, uh, and as always, this can change. If Diablos comes back in Wilds, which he most likely will, we'll look at him again and compare him to the new monsters that come with Wilds. And as we do this ranking, you know, even before Wilds, if anybody comes into play, 
that is better or worse than Diablos. He can move. We had Bracadios in first place till Nergigante came around and he knocked him down. So this can always change. And if you think we have uh, misranked Diablos, let us know why. Tell us. We would like to hear what you have to say. I'll I'll sit there and I'll listen. And, and you know what? We might even change it based off that. And in the next video, we'll start off with a with a re-ranking of Diablos. But with that being said. Uh, we're running out of time for this one, and honestly, I might not have enough <laughs> Diablos hunt footage. I might have to go get some more. So, um, Jack, do you have any, any uh, closing comments? Smash both horns to get the majestic horn to craft the thing, my bobs, and the doohickeys. That's true. I had to do that. Azel, want to do any plugging for yourself? Uh, I also have a channel, uh, Azelfus, spelled A-Z-E-L-F-U-S. I'll probably just link it in the description. <laughs> okay, then. That well, works, too. Well, I'll, um, I'll link Azel in the description. Go check it out. She's got the ghost content. One entire video. <laughs> She's got one Hell video. Yeah. But I'm in and it, too. I... <laughs> Yeah, and Narg is, Narg is in my one Phasmo video. I am planning to start posting stuff soon. I'll probably be mostly gaming content, although I do draw things for my channel. None, none of it is visible yet, because none of it's done yet. But my, my channel banner, at least, is probably going to be a video up there as a speed paint, and I might add other speed paints in the future if I draw other things for the channel. And there we have it. All right, then. This has been the Diablos ranking. Ne uh, join us next week for... So, Jack, name a monster. Legiana. Oh, fuck. Because I guarantee man. you're pronouncing it differently than me. Legiana. Legiana. I mean, both are good. But the problem there's is... There's nothing wrong with either. There, There's one problem, is that mm. if I fight Legiana, we also have to fight and then cover Shrieking Legiana. <laughs> Are they like the same species? It's a not some subspecies it, stuff. Shrieking is a subspecies, so we would have to cover. And it we can species. cover it later. No, it's not a variant. No, it's a subspecies, a true subspecies. That's why we had to cover Fulgur, Anjanath, and Viper to Bigadachi, because they are you like they are distinct subspecies. It's not like the older gens where they were just a color swap. These are legit subspecies. All right. where can I find Shrieking Legiana? And I because I've only seen standard. Okay, so it's a nice point. I'll have to play more of that for you then. All right. Well, if you're willing to help get the footage, then we'll then we'll get the footage at some point. I yeah. have no idea how to record my PlayStation, no, so no, uh, I will I mean, not help get the footage. I mean, suffer. I, I have World on PC. Suffer. Do you not have World on PC, Jack? I have World on PC, but I'm not up to Iceborne. Well, I can get up to Iceborne. <laughs> Do you have any idea how long that will take? Where are you? Probably still low rank. It's been a while. Well, uh, I'll confer and with with some with Seth because that's our usual co-host here, and we'll see if we're gonna do the Guiana. And if not, then join us for whatever the fuck we're doing. Because it, it uh, yeah. at this point we have several nominees. Now there was Legiana and Shrieking. Uh, we've also been nominated uh, Zitsuyaku and Kuluyaku. Um, Mizutsune is being added to the Monster Hunter Now mobile game soon. That's cool. Uh, the only way I'm going to get footage of... Miz actually, we have big plans for M Mizutsune. We actually have big plans for mm. the... Uh, I don't want to spill it too much. So, uh, that being said, uh, all right. That's, every that's it, everybody. Bye, everybody. Say bye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>